Hey YouTube, it's Millie. I wanted to do a short video today. This won't be super long, but I'm gonna share an update about my collection with you guys, a few updates about some of the vintage bags. And you can see the update already in front of you, but I'll give you a little brief story of what happened that led to this. I'll try to add some photos somewhere on the screen here, but the Moss Tabby 20 that I had had developed this really bad like bunching right here and you can see this one is doing it just slightly here but the moss one had it on both sides and it was really really obvious and it was like that from the minute that i got it and at the time i didn't really think anything of it like if you look at any of the pictures that i posted of that bag on instagram for example you'll see it on the bag I was actually watching the videos that Elle, which I'll link her channel below, was posting about her experience with the quilted tabbies. And she had had several issues with them, but specifically she had that bunching on one of her bags, I believe, and that led to her being able to exchange it or return it. I don't have that issue with any of my other quilted tabbies except the moss. I never did anything about it because I think it was past like the what I thought was the return window for me to do anything about it. And I had just kind of accepted, okay, this is how the bag is gonna look. But then another YouTuber, Dory, who I think I mentioned in one of my more recent videos, I'll also tag her channel below. She mentioned in one of her videos that Nordstrom has a return policy that's different than a lot of other places. And I had actually purchased the Moss Tabby from Nordstrom because it released there before it released through Coach. So after I saw her video where she mentioned that she had like returned something a very significant amount of time later to Nordstrom and they accepted the return. So I looked into it and I was allowed to return that Moss Tabby 20, even though I purchased it almost four months ago now. So after I realized that that was something I was allowed to do and that I could get a bag that wasn't gonna have that as bad. I decided to return it to Nordstrom and I was gonna see if there was a way that I could exchange it instead of doing a return. So like getting a new Moss one that did not have that defect, but they were not able to do that at my local store. So what I ended up doing was I returned the Moss tabby to Nordstrom they processed the refund like immediately. And then I literally walked down from Nordstrom to my coach store and ended up purchasing this as a replacement for that Moss one. I almost purchased it in Moss again because they did have it. But after seeing this color in person, I could not resist. I think this bag is so cool looking. And if we're being honest, I mean, you guys know my quilted tabby collection has right now it's at five bags it's probably gonna continue to grow and I might repurchase the moss color in the future we'll see I'm gonna try to hold out until my birthday which is in June but I love this bag I do enjoy having multiples of a bag style that I like I know that's not for everybody but that is something that I enjoy because it's rare when I find a bag or a bag style that I actually enjoy and use. The sales associate that helped me, his name is Danny, and he is amazing. I'm gonna post a picture of what the packaging looked like, and he also made me this adorable custom hang tag. These are cherries, which we know the Coach Cherry Charm has been super popular lately he did the cherries in silver and kind of staggered them and then on the edges there's actually like a little bit of like glittery silver so it's really pretty i have a lot of black and silver bags so this is going to go really well on a lot of my bags and i was there. and then the update about the vintage bags it's been a little bit of a roller coaster which is why i have not posted another video about those yet so the 70s bag came, I did the video about that, we restored it a little bit, and I can say this because I've already given it to her, but I decided to gift that bag to my mom for Mother's Day. She watches my channel and she's not super into handbags. I've given her a couple bags over the past few years that 
she seems to enjoy the one she loves the most is the rogue 31 in oxblood that's been like her everyday bag but when i showed her that 70s courier she immediately fell in love with it and i had a feeling that she might like it but i've never seen her that interested in a bag that i've purchased before and i have a big enough collection i have enough bags i don't need that bag and seeing how excited it made her i did decide to gift it to her she has it already she wore it the same day that i gave it to her so she's going to be enjoying that bag i might borrow it at some point if i do end up wanting to use it but i think it makes me more happy to see her using it and then I shared that there was a bag from the 90s that was coming and a bag from early 2000s. So what happened is the bag from the early 2000s came. I am planning to do a video about that bag. It is in wonderful condition. We're just going to add a little bit of conditioner to it, call it a day, and I'm very excited to use that bag. That will be the next video I post. Unfortunately, the 90s bag that I purchased that was supposed to be my birthday year bag, 91, that bag showed up and basically the bag was in not great condition. It appears to have mold all over it. I did a preliminary treatment just in case it is mold. This bag is not in my house. It's been in my garage and outside in the sun as I've been trying to do some treatments on it but I'm pretty bummed about that. So I don't know where that's gonna go. I was in communication with the person that I bought it from. They're claiming that they didn't have any issues with the bag or this bag didn't have any of these defects according to their knowledge. So it puts me in a tricky spot. I do feel like I kind of messed up because this bag was really cheap. I got it for a really good deal and there weren't a ton of really good pictures. So I feel like the seller can kind of get away with it because there weren't thorough pictures posted. There's really no way for me to prove that they knew it. And I also can't even for sure say if it is mold or what's wrong with it. So that's just like a sh I'm, I can't swear on this channel, right? I shouldn't swear. Um, it's just a not great situation and I'm bummed, not sure what to do about it. So the bag is literally just sitting outside. Luckily, Cleveland has graced us with sunny weather the past couple days, so I haven't had to worry about it uh, being outside. Those are the updates for now. I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope to get that other vintage video done soon, but I am back to work officially, so it might take me a little bit. All right, YouTube, that's it. I will see you next time. Bye.